Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. You to tell me what we've got in this one. I'll dig out two more lower down like that and see if that helps us. You are dormant for 24 cycles. You're pumping out more steam, but this is just... It's... It's too low a temperature. And I don't think that there is overpressure idle in 90 seconds. How are you overpressure? Hmm. I think all I can do with this one is... Wait a minute. We're just going to have to... We're going to have to go in here. Uh, deconstruct here. Deconstruct. That can be a priority 9 deconstruct. That can be a priority 9 deconstruct. 24 seconds. Fortunately, that's gone out. That's not going to work, is it? This is too low a temperature for us to actually be able to do anything with. We are literally... That's a wasted steam turbine right there. We're going to have to come back to that one. This one here is not a wasted steam turbine, I don't believe. We've now shut that off. We now have to just wait for the thermo aqua tuners to heat up this water and eventually... I'm hoping that we'll have a high enough temperature going on in this room in order to make use of that. But I think that what we want to do also is use temp shift plates in here to help move the temperature around and keep everything hot. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I don't know about that. So that's, that's a failure. That in there, that is a failed attempt. It hasn't worked. I've just literally, that's just going to be a source of fresh water. There, there, there isn't really anything else that I can do with that. So that's, that's the source of water in there. And I won't worry about doing anything more with it. This water in here is clean. We've got chlorine in here. Completely keeping that clean. We don't need to worry about that anymore. I've got vitamin chews and stuff. We've got more printables in here. Choose a blueprint. Uh, plastic, 500 kilos. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, right. That one, one point, there's two cycles left before I find out if this is done right or not. I, I got a feeling that I haven't done this right. I got a feeling, actually, my biggest problem is going to be, um, well, I don't know. Right. Eruption, active period, magma, 229 kilos. At a rate of 229 kilos per second. Okay. Here the atmospheric pressure is like 500. So I'm, I'm wondering if my atmospheric pressure is perhaps too high. I got a lot of oxygen in here. So I'm thinking that at least to start with I ought to put a mesh tile in here. Liquid or gas... Uh, airflow blocks liquid without obstructing gas. Steam is gas. I'm going to try just dropping one of them in there. About the mesh tiles. I've got those set on iron. Let's, let's, let's just try dropping one of those in there and see what that does. We've got one and a half cycles before this fires off. Whether I, I still think I've got too much water in there. I do believe I could have... But I very easily could have too much water in there, so uh, I'm, I'm not going to count on being able to do anything in there in particular. I'm thinking that we could end up uh, having a little bit of trouble in there. What do we got here? We've got 15 of 20 critters, 14 of 20 critters in there. Because one of them died of old age. And I got a mass of these. We've got 7 of 7 critters in there, 7 of 7 critters in there. I've got a few eggs. They'll take them up and they'll drop them off in this room up here. We're going to want to try to expand that out a little bit further later. Have we gone and dug... Ooh, right, what's this? A gold volcano. Right. I got a copper volcano over there. I got a gold volcano here. I need to make use of this gold volcano before... Can I... 
analyze it. Now, that's saying dormant at the moment. Can I analyze that before I do anything else? I don't know. I have, no, I have absolutely no idea. I don't know how big to make this to make this work properly. So I'm going to bring it to there. I'm going to go up like that. I'm going to go to that height. I'm going to go with an insulated tile. And I'm going to put that insulated tile on the inside of that ladder. That's going to go up to... Actually, I'm going to put insulated tile underneath like this. So that's going to come back to there. No, cancel that one. Uh, that one. Cancel that one. Right. Base. Insulated tile. Leave a gap of two, like that, and then go here. Put insulated tile up that high, and then all the way across over here, like this. And I will... Whether to go that tight there. Do it there, like that. Is that going to be too close? I think, I think that's going to be all right. What I could do, actually, is I could just combine these two together and hope that the steam there... Well, yeah, that, that might actually be a more sensible idea. Combine the two of them. So we've got liquid that will pass between these two. And do it that way, instead of what I've got at the moment. And then these two areas, they will link together as well. They're not linked at the moment. But they will be able to link. So you can get in up. You can sort of climb up in under there, can't you? You can go round here. We can put that in. Uh, we will dig that line there. Igneous rock. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna dig out some more of this, and we're just gonna have that one in there. I'm not gonna put any more than that one. I've got this volcano down here, and I have a second volcano down here. I need to be able to join these two together, so we will go with base insulated tile, and we're gonna do a set of steps coming down from that one. That's no good. I need the set of steps to go from here to there, to that one, to that one, to that one, and then it will go to that one there. So they need to go in through that bit. So then I want to put a ladder here so that I can cut down through there. That. Uh, cancel that. There. Cancel that as well. This wall here will be built. I do want an insulated tile wall there. I'll leave a gap of two for a minute so that they can come in and do some stuff. I, I don't know if I can analyze while that one is hidden like that. May, may not be able to. That That's a sort of a little bit touch and go. So I've, I've got some stuff that I can do in here. I'm going to dig that out now. Dig across there. I know that I've got the liquid up here, which could potentially cause problems. And I know that I've also, I like, the steam is going to be going up here. And we don't want the steam to be heading up that way. We're sort of hoping to keep the steam all in this little room in here. I've got no idea if I'm doing this right or not. I could be going about this in completely the wrong fashion. But I'm hoping that maybe this is going to work. And the, I figure the gold is probably a good thing. Have I got any more? We got any more? We look for neutronium strips. I know that there are some more around. I'm just not sure where they are. A little bit of coal and that under there. There's another neutronium strip. So let's also dig that one out. I'm going to go with ladder. You're going to dig down to that point right there. And then I'm going to dig over to here. I'm going to cancel that one. I'm going to dig again. There, like that. Right, there's another neutronium strip. There's another one down there in that corner. So let's come back down. Let's go down to that one and see what that is. Lots of neutronium strips around here, isn't there? That one little bit. So I want to go there and there, like that. And then uh, it's igneous rock in here. So I'm going to want to dig this out like this. 
Uh, you will dig out that far. I'll go out there like that. There we go. And this time I'm going to take some base, we're going to some regular tile, and I'm going to put tile across there. So I'm going to put tile all the way along the bottom there. Just because I can. I'm not going to worry about putting tile along the bottom of that one. So there's another little bit that needs to be all dug out. I've got a load of iron ore up here that I can dig out as well, so I might as well do that. And in order to facilitate a slightly faster mode of transportation for all of this, I'm going to put you all the way down through there as well. It's going to help us out. That's going to be a lot better. That fire pole right there also needs to be extended up to there like that. And I'm going to dig out that one and that one there. So we can go and put those in. Now we've dug out this lot. I've dug out some of the stuff in here. I'm going to dig out another triple layer, no quadruple layer in there. I'm going to dig all of that out. So that they've got a bit of work to do in there. I've got that one is another 20 cycles. While that's busy doing whatever it's doing, let's have a look over here. Wow! Erupts in another 16 cycles. That has gone and done. I got a load of sand in here. All of the water that was in there has already gone and done something. Now, it doesn't look like it's a temperature. It's 140 degrees. So I had water in here. That's all now fried and disappeared. So I want some more water in here. That allows that doesn't allow water in. I got water flowing back in as instantly turning to steam and it's cycling through. So I'm just going to leave that going. I'm, I'm disappointed I missed that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I want to see that happening. I actually want to see that happening. I'm going to go to load right here. Uh, we are this one. Newest save was there. As you can see from the timing, this was a fair while ago from where... I can see on there, I can see on the screen that that was a little while ago. So we want to go back a few minutes. Well, it's not letting me see anything over there. Cycle 462. Let's try that cycle there. This file will get deleted as new auto saves, saves are created. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that one. Let's see. I, I want to see this happening. So the sand is obviously the polluted, the, the, the pollutants that were in the water... That being left behind. That's actually quite cool. Right, it's taken a bit of time. Let's come back over to this bit right here. So let's go back over there and have a look. Erupts in 0 0.7 cycles. We will go back over this way. So the little bit of work that I asked to do over here has not yet happened. So I'm going to go with tile. I'm going to build tile over there now. And I'm going to take a ladder. We'll run that down to there. I'll take a fire pole. That is going to run down just a little bit further. I want to cancel that there. And I want to go to ladder. And dig that down a bit. I want to take tile. Go across here over to that point. Ladder will then come back down to the bottom. Fire pole will come back down to the bottom on there. We will dig out those over to one piece on the neutronium and the same over there one piece on the neutronium that is what i had done previously in here on this side i'm also going to go with base fire pole and that fire pole there is going to be extended up to that height right there and i'm going to dig out those two there then over up here i'm going to dig out the rest of this one that's going to dig out. I'm just going to dig out three high on there. I'm going to dig out all of that. Then I'm going to go with a ladder in here just to uncover that bit. Uh, the insulated area in there, that's not going to be built and neither is that. But that one is on that side. And that's where we're going to leave that. Right, let's, let's let it get going. Let that get going. This one up here is nothing that we can do about this. That one seems to be an obsolete, wasted, uh, unusable machine. 
You in here, not enough steam, steam temperature low, but we're still waiting on that water to heat up. So there we go. And now we have the excitement of seeing this one in action. So if it's completely submerged, it doesn't work. 0 0.6 cycles. This one right here. Are we going to have steam coming up out of here or not? Curious about this. I'm going to mop up that bit there. With the polluted water, it does appear that that causes the sand to accumulate here. So ideally, in future, we're not going to want polluted water accumulating here. And I assume that we don't want, like, the, the salt water there either. 0 0.4 cycles. I can't zoom out any further. I have had a couple of quality of life mods suggested to me that just make it a little bit easier to do things such as... Um, being able to zoom out further on your base and just a, a, a few little details like that which do sound pretty sweet I must say uh, I'm not ruling out using those at some point soon ish in the future I don't know when it would be but they are definite possibilities okay let's have a look we got 0 0.2 cycles rising pressure we're going to sit around and wait for this. I want to see, because all of that water was gone. So with that airflow tile, is that going to allow... Is steam classed as a gas? Is it going to allow that through? Or is steam still classed as a liquid as far as it's getting? I know in real life steam is classed as a gas. Um, rising pressure, 70 seconds. At least 70 game seconds. We've got it on fast speed. 50 seconds. There we go, just a few seconds left, and we have eruption right there. Look how fast that has turned it into steam. Now, the steam is coming through the airflow tile, and I'm wondering if that has got something to do with how quickly... I'm just going to go with a regular tile and plonk one down on top of there. I am, however, going to change that to a priority 9 right now. I want to cap that, because look, we've got steam obviously has come up through there and has caused us a problem. If I remove, if I put a cap on that one, you've, you've gone to sleep. I don't want you sleeping, I want you coming in here and removing this lot. Alright, we've got 150 degrees in here, I need that to keep going. There's a whole load of sand here which we will remove and we'll put the, we'll put, not polluted, we'll put clean water in here next time. That one needs to come through now. I need someone to come in and do that as quickly as, but there we go, there's our dude. He's on his way. We've still got water in here so we cap that one off like that. That erupts in another 16.7 cycles. This has now been capped, so nothing can escape from in here. And I want to go to temperature overlay. Looking at the temperatures. No temperature ex escaping out around the edges of this. If we lose a bit of steam out around the top. But that water cycling back in through here. 95 degree water cycling back in there. And then I've got all of this temperature in here. 130 degrees, 150 degrees up the top, 90 degree water down here. That's going to cycle round for a bit and it is producing us a little bit of power in it. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely delighted with that. Quite, that I, and I don't regret going back in time and watching that happen again. So you're useless. You up here, you may very well end up being useless. It does depend on the water in here and how much steam is ultimately generated. Uh, plus, we've also got this is full of... Well, I, th I think that one will be all right. I think it will sort of override that. Right. You in here. I'm going to click analyze in there and see if that will actually analyze. So the water here at the moment, we've gone and lost that. I'm going to next... Remove a whole load of that. Now, I know I've got more water up here. This is ultimately, I think, going to cause us problems. This water up here. You there, you're not going to cause us problems. I don't think that's going to be any kind of an issue. 
And I'll leave that there for a minute. I want to shave off all of this lot. I'm going to go from the bottom and I'm going to dig that off as well. So I've got several of these guys who are able to come and do some digging and some moving around. And now they're sort of able to loop around both of them. We don't want this as a through road. We're not going to be wanting them to do that once these volcanoes are both erupting. But we know that's going to be a little while before those are erupting. You are nothing more than a constant supply of fresh water. I can't use you for anything else. There, there is no other option other than just a fresh water supply. Uh, new printables have just turned up. You in here, you are still... This is, this is not warm enough in here, so this, this is not doing anything for us. Uh, this is one that we got to focus on. Although, let's not forget that we've also got this down here that we're digging out. And we're doing some stuff with down here. Printables. We'll take a look. Shine nymph eggs. I'm just going to reject everything. Yes. I'm reaching the point where I'm going to want to start building out my bigger bedrooms. I've got, like, things are starting to get under control in here as well now. I'm, I'm starting to get happy with everything that we've got. Consumable ore. I've got 34 tons of coal at the moment. It seems to be climbing with the number of these dudes over here that we've got right here. We've, we're getting more and more of the stone hatches. And the other hatches are slowly dying of old age. So stone hatch farms seems to be the way forward. They are a little cramped in here. Once the eggs are removed from each room, they seem to be all right. And then that room, so it's a seven of seven. I just copy the size of that room and I can move it out over here. I can duplicate that and do more of them over this side. And they would be very, very happy. I, I could make several more of them. And then I got the Draco farm here. That one's doing wonderfully well. We get a, a, I've got lots of plastic coming off of those. You are up here constantly doing that. We need to do something about this. I mean, I've got a lot of hydrogen up here that we want to do something with. I'm thinking that I should build another gas pump and put that one all the way up here so that we can make use of all this hydrogen that we've got up here. That might be a good thing. Just a little tiny project that we can work on here. So we want to go for ventilation in there. Take a gas pump, which I'm going to put all the way up there. Those can be suspended up in the middle of the air without any problem at all. So I'm going to put that one there. And that's going to go to there. And it's going to run all the way over and down into there like that. And then I'm going to go to power. And just regular wire. That's 840 watts there. It's 240 watts to go into... Anything. You down here, you're 960. You're 660 on that one. I'm either going to have to go with large wires all the way up to that one and just hook it direct into the main... Uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go... La I'm going to have to just do big wires like this. And hook it straight into the main cable run like this. this. This is not an ideal thing to do. Bring you down. I'll bring you over to the next one and I'll run you up there. Got that ladder. Connect you in there. That's not a brilliant way of doing that, but at least it is going to work. Uh, using up a lot of iron to do that, but it, it will work. Is it, It's a waste of iron doing that, I know. I, I absolutely concur. Yes, it is a waste of iron. But it will still work. It will be fine. Okay, this one in here, we're on 96 degrees on some of this water. So we're going to start generating steam there very, very soon. Down here, analysis. We're not analyzing anything. I've got to still finish digging that out. But we're nearly done with the digging. I've got more water up here. I'm going to want to remove some of this water. Uh, well, not remove it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to, like, we've we got to change this around. So I've got to have insulated tile come down there like that. That one is idle. 
It's not doing anything at the moment. We got we got to be really careful with that volcano. I need to dig out the rest of this. Build in that insulated area there. I then also need to build in some more insulated area here. So one, two, I've got one there, one there, and one there like that. So that's going to go like that. Which means they've got to come up round or around the top in order to do this. Which means that you here, that ladder is going to be removed there and there. Take those bits out and I'll dig in the rest. I'm going to also dig out that and those down through there. Take off the... Oh, no, I don't want to take off the cap yet. I don't want to remove the cap of that one. It just it just kind of holds it. That's idle right now. Idle is different to dormant. We got we got to be very aware of that. Idle is very different to dormant. Right. And then you can go into here like that. I can put in an extra two there. And I'm going to have a You see that line can stay there like it is. This one here, I would like to turn that one round. So you're going to deconstruct. And I want to put another one of those in. Deconstruct that one. I got an idea for this. Cause I, can you link that one up to automation? Enable auto bottle feed. Right, I, I, we might be able to. Ooh, we've, we've done some more research. Right in there, that is the juicer. Right there. Mushrooms, bristleberries, meal, lice. Alright, well, we'll have to see about doing that as well. We've got more research that we want to go and do. So let me go and get some more research underway. I want to go... I'm just going to work my way... Like I said before, I'm going to work my way through research as efficiently as I can. And sort of run... Like, go through it all. That's now all taken out here. I'm going to go into base, insulated tile, and pop one in there. And then I'll mop up this floor in here. That's surplus to requirement out there now. I don't want any of that. So that bit there, if I was to go with there. And dig all of those off. That one in there can stay where he is. If that stays up there, then I should have plenty of water going in here. Which would be a good thing. I want to go base uh, plumbing bottle emptier. I want that one facing that side. I want mop in here and I want to mop that bit up. I don't want these in here anymore. I don't need to melt that lot. I just want to keep this in separate and I can use the bottle emptier to drop some water in here and that's all we're going to use for it. That, I think, is the way forward with this. So we will take more insulated tiles and we're going to run those over here. And it's the bottle emptier is going to be the bit that's going to be key to us having enough water in this base. In order to generate all the steam that I want for that. And I think you can just have it as a sealed unit once you're done as well. Not sure. These, however, are now going to be removed. I may well end up making use of these later somewhere else. But I don't want them here. They can all go. I'll go there, temp shift plate, deconstruct that one as well. Remove all of the temp shift plates. I can't reach anything up there at the moment because I've got no ladders. Uh, they are the easiest things to use. So we the ladders. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.